I ran and brought it. I thought it was all the immigrants' fault. Right? Because I, I, I was watching I was watching Blue Dogs in the news the last, you know, and and for the up until last fall, all we were hearing about was this big immigrant problem in America. Uh, we seem, I hope, to have moved a little bit beyond it, although I saw on the front page of the New York Times today an article about uh, immigrants and uh, U.S. born folks fighting the jobs in Tennessee or Kentucky or someplace like that. Talk to us a little bit about, about this economy and what it means for people uh, who actually believe what they read on the Statue of Liberty about uh, you being poor and those who might need a job. I'll try to make it brief. It is all immigrants' fault. <laughs> Everybody knows that. One of the things I want, I want to share with you just a couple of really specific Detroit stories. There's people here from Detroit know a lot of this in, um, in Central Rail, which we organized to try to mainly claim wages unpaid to undocumented workers. Can you? Okay. Is it on? Marion, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. <laughs> mainly, though, I want to tell you a quick story about people in Detroit at this moment because jobs are very scarce here. And, a, and the state is cranking down on people and finding ways to criminalize and get money up in ways that Barbara explained a little bit better to me because I thought it was my imagination. But we're looking at people in Detroit who have come here to work in the parts suppliers for less than minimum wage without workman's comp, without social security, without being able to have any kind of coverage for any injuries should they become injured on a job that has absolutely no health and safety provisions. People working in the parts suppliers that provide parts to Chrysler, Ford, GM, Lear, the big three, everybody has got a plant still operating. Undocumented workers are doing that work, and as they lost those contracts in those parts suppliers, people are leaving. And because driver's licenses have been taken away from undocumented people, they can't even leave. So, we were requested to drive a woman and her child to Florida to meet her husband who had already been kicked out. So we drove her. This is the irony of what I'm trying to tell people from Detroit. Those of us who came here to work in auto, those of us who came here for these good jobs. I'm driving this woman from Detroit to work in the tomatoes, to pick tomatoes in Florida. What's wrong with this picture? That's not what anybody came here to do. And we're actually helping people to get out of here. This is like a bizarre twist of, this is not what our families came for. And for Mexicans and Chicanos, this is not what we had in mind. This is not the success to us. We expected much more. And we struggle for much more, but our struggle is futile as long as we have people that can't even feed their families. They're related to us. They're ours, they belong to us. And anybody who comes to Detroit, Detroit is different than any other place. That's right. If you get here, you should be able to stay. Right. We should be able to find work and find a place for anybody who can get here and work. Because the people that are coming here to work now are the people who are going to rebuild Detroit right. and repopulate Detroit. We need to be able to address them and make sure that they can stay. And not by anybody in this country. I have another letter for Congress from Congress here because I get letters sent to my house asking people to, if I, would, if I happen to see anybody important, would I please give them this information? I'm just going to read a real clear note from here. Elena, I have more things to say I thought about. The Congress and the President should do something about this kind of law, locking up the illegal deported Mexican people, 10 to 20 years in jail and prison. Can you please help me fight about that to the Congress? Because I think everyone should think that this is terrible, about locking up the people that are coming here to work.